Treatment of patients with gestational diabetes improves perinatal outcomes, but the optimal diagnostic criteria for this condition are unclear. A new study examined whether lower dysglycemia thresholds for diagnosing gestational diabetes would improve infant outcomes without increasing maternal risk. In this randomized trial, 4,061 women at 24 to 32 weeks of gestation were assigned to a lower or higher glycemic criteria group. The lower diagnostic criterion was a fasting plasma glucose level of at least 92 mg per deciliter, a one-hour glucose level of at least 180 mg per deciliter, or a two-hour glucose level of at least 153 mg per deciliter. The higher criterion was a fasting glucose level of at least 99 mg per deciliter, or a two-hour glucose level of at least 162 mg per deciliter. Overall, women in the lower criteria group were two and a half times as likely to receive a diagnosis of gestational diabetes as those in the higher criteria group. However, the primary outcome, the birth of a large for gestational age infant, was nearly identical in the two groups, at roughly 9%. Most secondary outcomes did not differ between the groups. Although in the lower criteria group, infants were more likely to be treated for neonatal hypoglycemia, and women were more likely to undergo labor induction, receive pharmacologic treatment for gestational diabetes, and use more health services. The authors conclude that for diagnosing gestational diabetes, lower dysglycemia thresholds did not improve infant outcomes and led to greater use of health services among mothers. Full trial results are available at NEJM.org.